Do we see maturity in the character of Jim Hawkins in the book Treasure Island over the course of the book by Robert Louis Stevenson? That's coming up next on The Book Bringer. It's The Book Bringer, bringing you books. Do, 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 do. Hi, John here, and welcome to another edition of The Book Bringer. Today we're looking at Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. A classic, if there ever was one, a great adventure story. Now, is there maturity in the character of Jim Hawkins, the main character of the book? We start off with by seeing Jim Hawkins as a young lad who works with his parents at the, the inn that they own. When they're visited by a pirate named Billy Bones, he gives them the assignment of watching for a one-legged pirate, a mysterious man who later becomes to be known as Long John Silver, the famous character in Treasure Island. Jim Hawkins is about 9 to 13 years old, and he's very scared of these pirates and the, the whole culture of the pirates and buccaneers. And this one like a man terrifies him. Let's look at how he describes this at the beginning of the book. How that personage haunted my dreams. I need scarcely tell you. On stormy nights when the wind shook the four corners of the house and the surf roared along the cove and up the cliffs, I would see him in a thousand forms and with a thousand diabolical expressions. Now the leg would be cut off at the knee, now at the hip. Now he was a monstrous kind of a creature who had never had but one leg, and that in the middle of his body. To see him leap and run and pursue me over hedge and ditch was the worst of nightmares, and altogether I paid pretty dear for my monthly four-penny piece in the shape of these abominable fancies. You can see he's worried about this one-legged man. It terrifies him. And he even mentions that this one-legged man is chasing him in his dreams over hedge and ditch, the worst of nightmares. I also like the imagery here in this paragraph about on stormy nights when the wind shook the four corners of the house and the surf roared along the cove and up the cliffs, he would see him in a thousand diabolical expressions. So you can see at the very beginning of the book, Jim Hawkins is terrified of pirates, especially this mysterious one-legged man who would become known later as Long John Silver. So what about later in the book? Did things change for Jim Hawkins? Well, let's look ahead. There's a great action sequence in chapter 26 with Jim Hawkins going one-on-one -on -one with the, the pirate Israel Hands on the deck of the Hispaniola, the vessel they used to sail to get to Treasure Island. This fight with this pirate in chapter 26, he pins Jim Hawkins to the mast with his knife. But Jim Hawkins fires his pistols into the stomach of this pirate and kills him in self-defense. He rose once to the surface in the lather of foam and blood and then sank again for good. As the water settled, I could see him lying huddled together on the clean, bright sand in the shadow of the vessel's sides. A fish or two whipped past his body. Sometimes by the quivering of the water, he appeared to move a little, as if he were trying to rise. But he was dead enough for all that being both shot and drowned and was food for fish in the very place where he had designed my slaughter. The very place where he designed my slaughter was in self-defense Jim Hawkins killed this pirate. And a great action sequence, and this whole book is a great adventure story, and I encourage you to read it. Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson, a true classic. Hey, I hope you enjoy this version of the book bringer, and why not hit subscribe? If you like this video, uh, why not hit the uh, like button, the thumbs up? And we'll catch you next time on the book bringer. Stay tuned for more.